So coming up in this seven minute segment, I'm going to talk about this framework introduction at the hand of what professional looks like. And then we're going to look at some of the elements that you find inside that framework. I'm going to kick off by just telling you why this is relevant and how it helps us to register a good versus a bad performance or presentations. Now you know how it is when you want to compare apples with apples and pears show up. And as you keep comparing, pretty soon you could start comparing apples and kangaroos if you don't have a system or something that is central to what our comparison is all about. So it is a set of criteria I'm talking about. And when I started coaching this stuff online, the first thing that struck me was that it is so much more than just a person standing and us getting an impression whether we like what they're doing or whether we understand what they're doing or not. And it all really rang true for me and started to really take shape when last year sometime I was doing a panel, uh, hosting a panel conversation for the PSASA, Professional Speakers of Southern Africa, and one of my guests, an international by the name of David Averin, was on the panel. And when I introduced him, I'd been looking at some of his clips online. And I said, David, you're just so magnificent and so slick on camera. You must have been doing this for years, right? And he said, no, I'd only just started as lockdown hit in the US. And I said, it is surely impossible. How did you get to, to be so slick? And he said, look, we all know what professional looks like. And it got me thinking because it is so powerful if you really think about it, it's not just that we know what professional looks like, it's also that our viewers, our audiences also know what professional looks like. And so pretty soon, if you take that kind of angle on what it is that you do when you present, it starts getting to be really simple to know how you're gonna compare apples with apples. And in the long run, this is really where the presenter framework comes in really handy because it helps us to, first of all, identify some 12 elements that I believe are really critical to explore what it is that the apples are. How many apples are there in the box? There are 12 in this. And then the next level is that I've figured out two different layers of these, which as you can see, uh, there's an outer layer of a content layer and an inner section, which is the cornerstone layer. Now, what is the cornerstone layer? Well, for me, at the heart of any presentation, the very heartbeat, the furnace, if you like, is this engine of a speaker, somebody who has an idea or is inspired by a message, and they want to get that message across to an audience with really high impact. So on board this train for me, that all happens obviously through a presentation. A presentation like this one, which would be a webinar, you may be having a Zoom call with people online, or you may be on a real stage actually talking to your audience. But at the heartbeat, those four elements really make out for me the very, very core of what it is that we do when we talk. And so there they are, and I've identified these cornerstone elements along with some aspects of those that are very, um, th these moving parts that are at work while we're busy doing a presentation. And a little bit later, I'm going to be sharing with you this sheet, which is a self-assessment tool, and you're going to be able to work through it yourself and see how you measure up yourself. But there's also these eight elements on the outside, and the elements outside are a little bit harder to identify sometimes because some of them are more emotive or emotional. They're not all tangible elements, um, although some are, and they are kind of layers, almost these layers that slowly peel away and peel off as we do the talk um, of deeper communication that in many cases, the audience may not be able to put their finger on and identify immediately. But nevertheless, those layers are there, and in some instances, even more critical than what the cornerstone elements are. And so we're going to be looking at those in a lot of detail tonight as well, and those you find pretty much on the outer rim, which is the content layer. Now, they are things like structure, you know, the platform you use, even the style or the design, and the call to action elements that you have in there. <laughs> 